Singapore, a city like no other, a place where East and West coming together in a really modern way, home to more than 6 million people on only 725 square kilometers. Singapore, a city-state on its own, small but big. Hi, I'm Martijn and this time I take you to Singapore. It's normal to visit Singapore for just a couple of days. And if you want to get the most out of your trip, you definitely want to watch this video. I've heard the rumor. I've heard the talk on the town. It's easy to navigate around town, either by cheap undergrounds or taxi. Some neighborhoods still smell like their origins. For example, Little India and Chinatown. In the past they used these houses for trade. However, today they were mostly used by restaurants, hotels and shops. What stayed is the ambience and color. Do take note of the local climate here. 30 degrees and a high humidity are a constant factor in Singapore. It feels normally like 45 degrees Celsius. So bring some extra shirts or polos and two cans of deodorant and you smell perfect during the day. The lowest temperature ever counted is more than 80 years ago and that was 20 degrees Celsius. And it does rain quite a bit as a result of the local climate. But when it does rain there's no need to stay at your hotel. It's time for shopping. Some of the biggest malls in the world can be found here in Singapore. And the most popular are located on Orchard Road. If you are just like me looking for boutique shops, then you go to Haiji Lane. With great local vintage shops. Lots of young girls taking pictures for their Instagram. And a great place to hang out for food and drinks. Another place to shop is Buggy Street. They sell you stuff which you wonder, will I ever need this? It's okay that you blue I'm here to stay. Singapore was founded on the crossroads of important historical trade routes during the British ruling. You can still see some of that in the spectacular size of the port and the general well-being. The city became one of the biggest Asian economies after becoming independent in 1965. The beach here gets overlooked quite often and that's a shame. Actually they made a special beach island for chilling and recreation. Sentosa Island is the most southern point in Singapore. It's one big theme park with a cable car, adventures, pets, and a beach, all for yourself. Singapore offers many spectacular views across the city, like from the Marina Bay Sands Hotel, with a boat-shaped swimming pool on top. Nowadays you need to be a guest at the hotel to visit the rooftop swimming pool. So I'll be visiting a different place, the Singapore Flyer. I can't get up alone, too heavy on my own. Is moving on. I'm still standing here. Kijk, alsof je in een uh, James Bond film zit uit de jaren 70 en 80 in zo'n cabine. En dat er dan zo'n man komt met van die tanden die dan vervolgens de kabels doorbijt. Oké, okay, we zijn er nog. Singapore is also home to one of the highest rooftop bars in the world. One altitude. It's not cheap to go up, uh, you pay 45 Singapore dollars per person. My advice is to go there around 9 p.m. because the view in the evening is stunning. Take you by surprise. I can take you anywhere you want. Something in your eyes. We don't have to wait any longer now. Singapore has a zero tolerance policy when it comes to rules. 
Do Not Litter. Bringing cigarettes from abroad can set you back 200 Singapore dollars per package. When you forgot to flush your toilets, it can set you back 300 Singapore dollars. It's prohibited to sell alcohol between 9.30 p.m. and 7 a.m. And when you vape, just leave it at home. E-cigarettes are strictly forbidden in Singapore. There are many expensive restaurants to visit or you can eat in your hotel. However, there is a great marketplace to eat, full with locals, Lao Pa Sat. Let me show you this really quick. It's super touristy, Clark Key. During the day, it's really quiet. But by night, a place where you can go out. The merging of architecture and nature happens right here at Gardens by the Bay. You will see the cloud forest and this really big waterfall. The trees outside are stunning. But my advice is to go there in the evening. They will be even prettier because they will light up by night. When you like this video, don't forget to give a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And if you don't want to miss any other episodes, just subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's totally free and it enriches your view on the whole world. Tot ziens. Ciao. Hasta luego.